My safety banner is now locked on the aft D-ring, the real aft D-ring, and your safety banner is on the forward D-ring, and it's lo locked back on black gate close. Now we are in the proper conflict. All right. And Luca, we copied all and uh, followed you along there. Thanks. You. You're doing a skills run. This is where they would uh, tell me to rescue you. And Luke, the last question, and Chris, you might be to help out. Is it uh, something like the mini workstation or your safer that's restricting you when you try to move any? So what I, what I see is the BRT could be completely loosened and sent down by your leg, and the mini workstation might flatten out then into the gap, if that makes any sense, Luca. Um, I don't know. You're the guy on the scene. I'm just... What was blocked? Guys, it's, uh, yeah, but the, your BRT was bonked. See the handrail that your left hand is in right now? Mm -hmm. Your BRT was stuck on it when I arrived. Okay. And it was pushing you high such that your backpack was against the other handrail. Okay, so like this. There you go. Yep, that freed up. You're still, you're still wedged in there pretty darn good, Shane. Uh, Chris Cassie is going to begin translating uh, over to his next task. Uh, which will be uh, the installation of some uh, V-guide bolts onto one of the radiator grapple bars that was installed uh, on the spacewalk uh, last week on July 9th. Uh, Cassidy already uh, completing the uh, Z1 jumper cable installation, a continuation of last week's uh, Z1 jumper cables. I see deeds of sweat. No, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Hey, Luca, can you clarify, is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, I see. Uh, I see it now, wiggling. Can you see? It's over here, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah but uh, I, have, um, I have that, and then there is uh, about the same amount of when I took the helmet down last time, Chris. Really? Yeah, I, I can feel it in the back of my head. Uh-huh. I don't I I can I don't understand where it's coming from. It can be the it water. has to be the bag. Can you suck it dry? Oh, so that stuff on your forehead is not sweat? No, it's not. Oh, I see what Okay, it has to be the, it, it's the bag, because the bag is dry now. Yeah. And Chris and Luca, you guys can just hang tight there. Chris, you can continue to help troubleshoot if need be, but uh, we're going to talk about it here for a minute. Roger that, all in work. And Chris and Shane, FYI, I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it speaks from my back. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, I am sweating, but it feels like a lot of water. It's not going anywhere, it's just in the in the my CD cap. And Luca, we copy. copy. Just FYI. Hey Luca, while you're working there, can you give us uh maybe some more words on the water? Um maybe identify the source you think and then is it getting any worse or is it the same? Um good questions. It's Still the same. Uh, it's not increasing nor more. I still feel, and I cannot tell you the source. Um, my only guess is that it came out of my bag and then found its way over there in the back, but I don't have any water in the front of the helmet. Yeah, I'm thinking that it might not be the water bag. There's no other place for it to come, unless it's sweat or urine. I guess it must be sweat, then. Yeah. How much can I sweat, though? Yeah. Hey, Luca, oh, can yeah. you give us the status of where you think? It sounded like we just heard you cannot hear. Um, is that true as well? No, no, no. I can, I can hear perfectly. I can still hear perfectly, uh, but... 
my head is really wet and I have a feeling that it's increasing and I'm thinking that it may, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm thinking it may be the LCBG that's leaking. Is that a possibility? Just with the fan or the cooling? No, I haven't touched anything. So you, the leak would remain and but, they would see data. But where's that wave coming from then? It's too much. I don't know, it's a lot. And I see my eyes. Shane, you back with us? All right, Chris and Luca, just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Luca saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So, Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. Chris, we'll get a plan for you to uh, clean things up here and then join him here in a minute. Match is open, Shane. Lucas going to the crew lock. Copy, Chris. Better. Thanks. Put me lock. Hey, Chris, just hang tight for a bit. Uh, once we get Lucas taken care of, we'll uh, work on you. No problem. I'm in no rush. I got a ringside seat. Crew bringing Luca uh, through the hatch into the equipment lock. They'll be expediting uh, the removal of his suit, getting the helmet off uh, first thing, and leaving uh, some of the other components like the safer and the uh, workstation attached. Meanwhile, Chris Cassidy standing by inside of the crew lock. You can see some of the water floating away that had built up inside of Luca's helmet. Uh, helmet off and Luca safely back inside. Safer unit removed uh, from his EMU. And Karen from Houston, you can work steps 14 through 20 for the expedited. Is complete and we'll continue on with the rest. 